Fort Worth, Texas. I moved to America like almost two years back. I wanted my kids to get the best life, the best education. Jignesh Patel takes a job at a hotel. But trouble starts one Sunday evening when this man stops at the hotel's front desk. This gentleman came by 10.30 at the desk and at the beginning he just asked for the price like the normal customers do, like what you got for one bed and two beds. After getting the price he said like I will be right back. The man returns and does something truly bizarre. He poured a kind of liquid on me and at that particular moment I was kind of very much angry because now this mess, who's gonna clear it? But the man is far from contrite. He was like, that's not water, that's gasoline. You give me the gas details and the money or else I will set you and your office on fire. My name is Jignesh Patel and I survived an attempted robbery. I came to know like, oh, he's not joking, he's damn serious. And he's going to do what he wants to do because after spilling the liquid, he had the light in his right hand. Jignesh tries to think quickly. The very first thought came to my mind was like my wife, my family, my parents, and it was like all fraction of seconds. So it was like mixed emotions running in my mind. I wanted to survive. If something happens to me, who will take care of my family? There's about $1,500 in the register. The suspect also wants the hotel folios, which contain guests' credit card information. Jignesh reaches for the phone. I thought like, okay, just let me grab the phone and try to call 911, because many times these people, they are not in their senses, but when you say 911, they are like, okay, we are going. Not this time. The plan was just to stay alive, but when he lighted on fire, he was kind of taken aback, uh, because that fire, if you see, it was like very big, you know, like, uh, even I didn't expect it, he might be doing that. Somehow, despite the huge burst of flames, Jignesh doesn't catch fire. Luckily, the sprinkler started and it was a big sigh of relief, you know, like, wow, I'm saved <laughs> and the water is there and every building is good now. The suspect flees. The second thought it came to my mind is like, let me run behind him and try to catch him. But that's not a good idea because he still got the lighter in his hand. It's a Sunday night, it's 10 30, there is no one outside. The incident goes viral. Police find a good likeness of the suspect from a gas station surveillance camp. Police arrest 48 year old David Sarkeesian. He is charged with aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and other charges. At the time of this production, the case is pending. Jignesh is rattled. I was scared of nights for two to three months it was a kind of worst nightmare i used to see it in my mind again and again but jignesh says things have turned around now he has this advice for others be aware be alert and again if something like this is happening to you don't lose hope be strong we have to carry on <laughs>